And here we go! Matchup against Gigi. Gigi? Something. Uh, alright, alright, alright. Uh, we have Manatize, turn one. Oh, we're keeping this. Not too far off from Chandra either. Uh, we've got a Bolt, we've got Manatize, we've got everything we want. Uh, we did lose the die roll, so we're going second, unfortunately. I can't counter their turn one play if they have one. Temple Garden, untapped. Uh oh, is this green white? Is this is green white titan. Oh, I'm gonna cry! <sighs> okay, well, what you gonna do? Hopefully not make a billion mistakes. That's step one. Uh, Alright. Gaiji, what do you got? Adderbar Elf. Sure. Uh, and we drew a Karn the Great Creator. Uh, yep. So, do we bolt the elf here, or do we manatide their turn to play? I want manatides. Probably, technically correct, to bolt the bird. But less fun. So, and also this means that we could get a, you know, three drop. Come on. Tap out for Blood Moon. Utopia Sprawl. <gasps> okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <gasps> Alright, well, we don't get a Blood Moon, but we do get to counter this Pyromancer. Um, we're gonna get... Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna get the Sacred Foundry. If they have, like, Blood Moon in their deck, then that's fine. We don't really care about Blood Moon. <laughs> Manatize. Ghost Quarter. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Uh, do we just, like, snap that off? We could also Cleansing Wildfire... I do want to bolt this thing here, though, so maybe we... So we're going to bolt this elf. That is the thing we are going to do. Yeah, I think we're just going to Ghost Quarter this Temple Guard. Uh, we'll see if they... What kind of basics they have. They do have the basic forest, okay. Alright, alright. Well, we can potentially Cleansing Wildfire that next turn. Ooh, another Utopia Sprawl. So, that definitely incentivizes the Cleansing Wildfire. Another Ghost Quarter. Okay, this turn I think we are going to just Cleansing Wildfire. Uh, let's see how many basics they have. Oh, of course, of course. Alright, so they do have another basic, which is fine. Uh, we do get to next turn uh, Arbiter Ghost Quarter. If our opponent doesn't have anything else to do. We'll have to be mindful of Bolt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Flagstones! Okay, well... Alright, so they could have a bolt here, and then they still get to search. No bolt. Alright. Pass it back. Feeling pretty good here. Feeling pretty good. We haven't done a whole lot. And they have the fetch land. They have the fetch land! Okay. And we have pillage. I wonder if our opponent just, like, scoops to pillage. I suppose we should have attacked first. Because they might have bolt here. No bolt. <laughs> I feel a little evil. A little bit evil. But also really good. Begin sideboarding. Begin sideboarding. Alright. Uh, so this is pawns, though. So, purge is good. Um, oh, they're gonna have that dragon. They're gonna have a dragon. Okay, uh, Helix seems okay. Maybe Skyclave, just get rid of, like, elves and enchantments and things? Anything else? Maybe Path? Just bring in some more removal. Um, 
they do have fetch lands. I feel like all of our stuff is pretty good. Um, I don't even know. Like, do we are we bringing in too many things? Like, maybe we don't bring in these. Maybe we just bring in just like another. Well, I don't know if we need helix over path. Like, maybe we need path more. And then, so then, what do we cut? Uh, cut a Karn, and cut Vengeant, harder to play under Blood Moon, which is a thing our opponent could be doing. Hmm. Mm, I don't think we can keep this one. I do like having Ghost Quarter against the, uh, the ramp deck, but... Uh, with no white mana, no double red. I mean, like, eventually we could field the Ruin into double red, but that means we haven't done anything for, like, four turns, so that's pretty bad. Uh, so I think we're gonna, we're gonna ship this one away. Alright, mulliganing, mulliganing, Um, yeah, we got Sacred Foundry, 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 Foundry. Uh, we got double flagstones, we can use that to kind of ramp ourselves a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll keep this. We will keep this. Uh, what are we bottoming? I guess we're going to bottom a Karn, since we probably don't need two of those. Wooded Foothills. Cracks the Foothills. Gets the stomping ground. Elf, elf. All right, so we're going to bolt that. <sighs> and we have Arbiter. Yes. All right, bolt the bird. Pass it back to our opponent. Secret Foundry taped. Okay. Mm. Okay. So this is where things get a little awkward. Um, so we we'll play flagstones, and then I, mm, I guess we're gonna play Arbiter out here. I guess we could have left up Bolt Path. All right, they're just gonna bolt it. That's fine. That's that's great. Uh, it means we get to search with our flagstones next turn. Season Pyromancer. Sure, sure, sure. Create the two elemental tokens. Uh, discarding Bloodbright and Path. Okay. All right. Cleansing Wildfire. Okay, so let's play flagstones. Uh, we'll keep the untapped flagstones. I will use its ability. Uh, what do we want to get here? I think we're actually going to get our planes. Like maybe our opponent took out their. Um. Actually, no, because we can we can actually ramp ourselves a little bit here. So let's get let's get Sacred Foundry tapped. Um, let's tap this Cleansing Wildfire. Oh, no, 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 cancel. Cleansing Wildfire targeting our own flagstones. Pay a red and whatever. Okay, yes, we'll use its ability. Uh, we'll grab our mountain. Uh, oh, is it to this? Yes. We're doing a whole lot of nothing, kind of. Uh, but we did just ramp ourselves a little bit. Uh, so now we'll grab our planes. Um, and we'll path Pyromancer now. And that just gets rid of it forever. Kind of hurting our, our uh, land destruction play out a little bit here, but we also could just get to play Karn next turn, potentially, if we want to, and maybe keep up a bolt. Attacking for two. Sure. Casting the Arbor Elf. Casting another Pyromancer. Another Pyromancer could be bad. We need our we need our wrath. Close this. Okay. Well, that's a reason to 
to do things. Okay. Blast zone. So we could take a... Well, no, this isn't instructable. So never mind. We can't take a blast zone to get rid of that. Um, Let's see. So if we play Karn... Uh, is less than seven. It's now at three. Okay. I think we're going to play Karn here. Clothis is problematic for sure. We're going to take down Karn. Yes. And I think we're going to get Ensnaring Bridge. And then we're going to pass the turn. Keeping Bolt up. Hoping our opponent cannot activate Clothis. Or not activate it, but animate it, whatever. We're going to take two here, most likely. I don't think our opponent really needs more lands. We'll see! We will see! <clears throat> All right, getting rid of our flagstones. Okay, does this mean they have the dragon? Oh, Sword of Feast and Famine. Protection from black and green, okay. I have I have neither of those things. Equip for two. So whatever they equip it to, we bolt. Is the plan. Interesting that they have Sword of Feast and Famine. I didn't see that. I didn't. I don't think I realized from last game that they were three colors. I saw the wind swept teeth, but I assumed that it was fetching something else. So this must be some sort of like Naya mid range. Seems cool. Seems cool. All at Karn. Okay. Well, we're going to bolt the elf. Oh, they're going to stomp the Karn. All right. That's fine. We're going to have to deal, I guess, with... with the creature. Do have the blast zone, though. And a lightning bolt. Okay. Okay, Lightning Bolt deals with uh, with the creature. We're also pretty close to just destroying all lands here. <laughs> Will be a thing we can do. Problem is this Clothis is, is going to kill us eventually. <laughs> Alright, gets rid of our Karn. Sure, we take two. A braid deals with our bridge. Okay. Did not expect them to bring in a braid. Uh, so now we got to bolt that. Means I'm not playing giant this turn, though, I suppose. Also means we have less ways of dealing with giant. Flagstones. Okay. I guess that's something. I mean, we could just destroy all lands here. Then only we have a land. Uh, but our opponent then gets to keep their Clothis and their sword. Uh, and they still have a token. So I don't know that destroying all lands here is actually good for us. Um, so I guess we're just gonna cast Boom. Sad that we can't bust. Very sad indeed. Uh, take a second foundry. Pass the turn. Alright, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. Uh, if we don't draw something pretty good, it might just be over. Yep, gets rid of our flagstones. Stomps our face. Equips sword. 
Let's see. Uh, discards a card. Untaps all lands you control. Sure. Sure. Why not? Pyromancer also bad. Yeah, we need to draw. Oh. That's not what we need to draw. It does get rid of Clothis, but then they attack in for five. Plus they've got the Giants. And we didn't take up our Blast Zone for some reason. I thought I hit one, but apparently I hit something else. So we didn't get to take up our Blast Zone. Not that it would save us, really. Because uh, we'd be at two this turn. Yeah, I think that I think that does it. I think we uh, I think we need to go to the next one. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Um, so I think we do want Skyclaves after all. Um, I'm tempted to rest in peace, but I don't think that's actually good. Oh, we could have gotten Relic. Maybe we should have gotten Relic with Karn uh, to get rid of stuff from Clothis. Hmm. All right, what are we taking out? Um, I still like the Arbiters just because they have they have three colors, which I did not realize from before. Um, so maybe we take out like a Pillage, a Boom Bust. Do we want anything else? Do we want the Helixes? We might want the Helix. I'm gonna take out another Boom Bust. Take out some of our land destruction. Hoping the Arbiters and Mind Sensors help us out. I would like to be first. Speaking of, speaking of, oh, and we have the Ghost Quarter too? I think so. Um, Let's start off with Sunbaked Canyon. Let's take go. Windswept Heath for our opponent. Cracks it. Stomping Ground Elf. No, Forest Elf. Okay. That is all right. That is all right. Bolt's pretty good here. Bolt is pretty good here. Um. Yeah, I guess we're going to go Cascading Cataracts Arbiter. All right, our opponent could untap with a lot of mana here. Maybe it's better to just bolt the elf. Hold up Ghost Quarter. Yeah, maybe that would have been the better play. Mm -hmm. Is this Blood Moon? It's just a Clothis. All right. Clothis is fine. Another Arbiter. Okay. Um, so I think we get to take both of our opponent's lands, or we could also bolt this elf and take a land. Which one do we want to do? Do we don't want, <laughs> want to take all of our opponent's lands or take the elf? I think we take the elf and the land. Yeah, so we're going to do that. So let's go ahead and take care of our opponent's... Oh no, hold on. <laughs> I did this the right way. Um, so let's ghost quarter the forest. I feel like forest is more important important to our opponent. Uh, and then we'll bolt elf here as well, getting rid of that. And uh, attack for two. Next turn we can cleansing wildfire the mountain or if they have another land they do have this called this so we'll you know they are going to be gaining life if they want to yeah eats the bolt deals us some damage i think if we do get karn on board we're going to grab that relic eat our yards hey okay sacred foundry untapped Stumps. Sure. Got more where that came from. P 
pillage. Pillage the village. Uh, okay, well, let's uh, play a second Arbiter. And pass the turn. Eats an Arbiter. Stomping ground! Cashes in on the giant. Alright. Sure. Yeah, it's big. Sacred Foundry. What does that do for us? What does that do for us? It means we could play this Skyclave Apparition. Is that what we do? I think so. Like, take... Take Clothis. <clears throat> take Clothis. We are running a little low on life here, uh, especially since our only white mana has been... Uh, it's been the Sunbaked Canyon. So that does hurt a little bit. And we might take a hit from this giant here. But I think we had to get rid of that Clothis. That Clothis was going to kill us one way or another. Uh, but we're going to get to bolt range pretty quick here. Attacks. Okay, well. We're going to take it. I hope they can't just kill us. We'll have to draw an answer next turn, or start blocking things. Which is not great. Not great at all for us. Alright, opponent, what do you got? Another stomp. Plays Winds of Teeth. And a Ren in six. Oh, well, so much for the 5 0. And a Ghost Quarter is not what we wanted to see. Uh, let's see. I guess we. I guess we're going to Cleansing. Wow, this doesn't even matter. We're going to Cleansing Wildfire thing, because why not? But we have to draw, like, Removal Spell here and now. It is not a removal spell. So we're going to have to chump. Which just kills us, I think. I mean, chump gets us... Um, let's see. Actually, I don't even think, think we cast that. Chump buys us a turn to find a wrath. That's about it. That's about it. And then we still have to deal with Ren and Six. So I think this might just be over. <sighs> so much for the first 5-0, eh? Uh, yep. Opponent getting in 4-4. Four, four. We have to block because Bolt. Opponent's also at a healthy, healthy 16. A little Moto Stutter there. And we draw Mana Tithe. We draw the Mana Tithe. All right, GG opponent. Uh, well, that first game was super fun. Uh, second and third game, you know, you know, stumbled a little bit, a little bit. Uh, well, we'll see you in the next round with some more land destruction. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you very much, everybody.